How are you doing, everyone? I hope you've been enjoying this first week of the fall 2018 anime season. I am the Don Taku, and today we will be discussing in podcast form all the first episodes, all the series I've currently watched, and probably all the other series I didn't watch yet because there's quite a lot of series this season to cover. So let's begin. Um, currently, I am on LiveChart.me. This is the website that I use to look at all the, the animes and the charts. It looks like it's filtered by popularity, which is interesting. We're going to see about how much people think about the animes currently going on. I've seen, like, um, let me count, um, I go to Kitsu right now. Kitsu is the thing I used to look at all my animes. I believe I've watched, like, 13, oh no, 10? It looks like I've watched about 10 to 12 series this season, which is a lot, to be honest, because... There's just way too much anime to watch this anime this season, but they're all good, so let's begin. If my freaking tablet would go sideways, please. Thank you. So first on the list, interestingly enough, is um, Sora Online Alice Station. So for one, I will appreciate that they gave us a 15-minute first episode, considering it's a third season that's it's somewhat popular to a lot of people, and there are some criticisms about it, but this series, or this first episode, was really good, I must say. I'll, I'll give it that. So the first half of the episode, right? So it's all spoilers if you guys haven't seen um any of these series I'm gonna talk about right now. But yeah, the first episode or first half of the series episode was introducing the whole allization thing and like at first I was super confused because it just went straight into it. I was like, what the hell's going on right now? And then later on in the second half, like he wakes up and then like then we get the whole like other stuff in the real world where shit happens, and then that's how the episode ends, so I'm just like, okay, they give us two episodes or a really good first episode impression, that was really good on their part. So far, it seems pretty interesting how this is gonna happen, um, I know, well, for one, my friend told me what was gonna happen in this series or this season arc thing, so I knew what was gonna happen eventually, and then, um... Yeah, I don't know how this is going to work out with, like, the whole other characters in that other world with yu gi I believe his name is, and Alice. So, that was pretty interesting, I'll give it that. Um, I think it gives, like, a above average score, in my opinion, but this one has, like, a 4.5 rating right now. I'm assuming it's out of 5, but, um... Sword Art Online, Alization, is it better than the second season or the first season? We'll see by the end of this. How much episodes is this going on? Four core series. The first episode was a one hour special. Okay, it's fair. Um, I don't know how long this series is gonna be, to be honest, but if it's super long, and I hear that there's so much talk about the arc, how this is the best arc in the SAO, whatever, everyone's more positive about this arc, because we could all forget about arc one and two or the movie or whatever. But I actually don't know, that's another thing. I like how they integrate stuff in the movie. I've actually got a chance to see the movie, right? And it was not bad, I'll give it that. It looked visually stunning and um, really great. Maybe a little bit better than the first season, who knows. But um, it was really great. And they added elements to it in the opening and like the ending in this anime. So I'm just like, oh wait, so it's canon somewhat, right? Because they had Yuna in the thing and then they had the guy, the doctor guy, I forget what his name is. But yeah, so that's interesting how they take elements in the... The movie that I kind of liked, like Yuna and the whole like thing with that, and put it in here because who knows it might like come into fruition in here. But I don't know how. Well, I thought the, the the movie was original, and then they're they're incorporating it into the third season. I don't know. That's really interesting. But fuck, Kirito got screwed this episode. Anyways, that's Sora Online. So so far, episode one, good first impression. Considering we got an hour special long episode. Next, the second popular thing in the whole... Everyone's been talking about this anime. And I, I personally, I was too. Because someone commented um about how dark or somewhat gritty Goblin Slayer was. So Goblin Slayer, woo! Everyone knows what the hell happened in Goblin Slayer. That shit was crazy, man. Because, like, I didn't watch it at first. Well, I had a, a friend, or not a friend, I had a viewer comment that, like, oh, yeah, Goblin Slayer is going to be the shit, dude. Or, like, it's going to be super good. And then he's like, yeah, I can appreciate all this dark stuff. And, like, you know, it's not going to be, like, a time time or whatever. And then my friends watched it first. And then they're telling me, like, yo, dude, freaking Goblin Slayer is super the shit, man. And I was like, shit, I kind of want to watch it now. So I finally got off my ass and ditched school homework. Don't do that to watch this episode. And, ooh, <laughs> that shit was dark. Not, like, dark, dark, but, like, let's, let's like, it's, like, 
It's just dark. I'll just call it dark because that shit was like gave me the the creeps and goosebumps in the end or in the middle of the episode. And ooh, that shit was good. But I really like it. White Fox does some really good stuff, considering all the ReZero stuff. And um, yeah, man, goblins <laughs> gotta kill all them goblins, dude. Them slay them goblins. Don't let them live. That's some crazy shit. Um, so well, I think that it, of course. The first impression of Goblin Slayer is that at least a good first impression. Sarah sets up the tone for the series and our interesting character, Goblin Slayer, who's, I don't know his name is Goblin Slayer or whatever, but, or what he'll look like, but it's just one of those things, you know, you never see what this guy looks like. I wonder what his backstory is because this is the main dude and he's just like, I gotta kill all the goblins in the world, even if they're kids. Oh, he's going for 12 episodes. Okay, I can dig that. And the second character is this young priestess who just recently became an adventurer. And you have her, it was a newbie, and just recently going to this adventure journey. And a super experienced goblin slayer who worked together to, who knows what, to kill goblins, I guess. They're going to be killing goblins the whole series. But yeah, man, that shit was freaking whew, deep. And like, the goblin slayer, personally, he's not like overpowered or like super like strong or anything. He's just really smart or practice that's what he said in the, in the anime right the episode it's like he's been killing goblins and practicing this shit for so long and like the adventurers got pretty knee deep in like a rookie thing and like you know shit happens it happens to rookies who try and go out and kill goblins and stuff but that was some dark shit man a lot of people died <laughs> but yeah man i could see it in his like whole how he acts and stuff i kind of like it it's like not like kirito who like going back to start online it's not like kirito who like has all these unique skill like dual blading or whatever, and is just root naturally good at shit. I can tell that he has to practice this shit, or like he has this kind of thing where like he knows what he's doing because he's done this shit before and he's been killing goblins forever or whatever. I kind of like this guy. Um, interesting to see how he develops as a character with his party because I don't. He kind of seems like a solo dude though, because he's all he does is just kill goblins, and people other people in the world could probably just be killing like demon lords or whatever, but. Who knows? Really like Goblin Slayer. Can't wait to see more. It's uh, below Star Online just a bit, but I mean, Star Online, everyone watches Star Online because it's their third season also, so who cares? Um, uh, this is the slime anime. I did not watch this yet um, because it's just a slime anime. Like, you got reincarnated into another world as a slime, and from the visual, it looks like he's surrounded by a bunch of ladies. I'll watch it eventually. I mean, like, it's kind of like. I watched the anime, like, in another world, my smartphone. I gave it, like, the the, the go. I, I gave it a shot just because, like, okay, how the hell does this work? And then it was just, like, kind of average. Although, I'll give it the benefit of the doubt because something happens in the end. I won't spoil it. But the main character does something that, you know, most characters, they don't do whatever. But anyways, yeah, I'll give it a shot. It's 4.6. This is higher than Sword Art. What the heck? Okay, well, anyways... I never watched that yet. Um, Tokyo Go Re, the second season. I read the manga. No need to watch this again. I mean, if you really want to watch the anime and read the ma- after you read the manga, then feel free to. I guess why not? Seishin Buta Yado uh, Bunny Senpai. I don't know what the English title is for this thing. Hold up, let me let me pull up my 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 strats or my my internet bunny girl anime real quick. I want to know what the English title was. I forgot what it was. Bunny Girl Anime. Thank you. It's the first thing that comes up on the thing. Rascal does not dream of Bunny Girl Senpai. Now, this shit was pretty interesting. I'll give it that. This thing is a really interesting science of life mystery, I guess. That was categorized as comedy, supernatural, romance school. It's kind of like that, yeah. It's like a supernatural mystery, almost, slice of life. So, um, two episodes have been released so far. So, if I talk about the second, second episode, then I'm sorry, but... You, you know, it's been a week already, so everyone's probably supposed to be watching this. If you haven't watched it already, then this anime is about some kind of sickness called puberty syndrome, right? It's like a mysterious disease or whatever. I don't know what the hell it is exactly, but it's some kind of, like, infliction or infectious thing. I don't know what it is, personally, but then people be, like, you know, getting affected by this syndrome. Like, the main character, who the bunny girl is, right? She can't be seen by anyone, so she wears that bunny girl dress outfit thing to see... If people who don't see her does see her, so then, like, it's sort of like, see who's aware of her, because she's, like, invisible to everyone. It's pretty interesting, because the main character is trying to figure out 
why that's the case right now. And then there's another character in the anime who freaking gets, like, cuts and bruises and shit because of, like, looking at social media and people comment about her because of some kind of, like, scandal in high school or whatever. And it's like, damn, this is some interesting shit because they can do a lot of things with this. This thing is going for 13 episodes. I'll appreciate that. It's not the usual 12 because thank you. And, um, yeah, I mean, a lot of people are enjoying this series also from looks of it. Puberty Syndrome. Yeah, I, I kind of like this. This is based off, like, a light novel. But, I mean, the mystery of, like, this whole, like, puberty syndrome made-up disease-looking thing, experience, a normality thing, supernatural stuff, it's interesting to me. With a hint of Slice of Life in there, because it's a school romance thing, you know. Um, episode 2, I won't say what happened in Episode 2, but if you want to give it a shot after that, what I said, it's pretty good. I like it so far. It's pretty interesting. Fairy Tale, the final series. I haven't caught up with Fairy Tale at all, so I left somewhere along the road. Next, um, Irozuku Sekai no Ashita Kara. Now, this, okay, this one is. I need a. Is this linked to Mal? Yes! Open straight to Mal. Thank you, Lore. What is the English title for this thing? There's no English title. Gosh darn it. We're, this thing is called, like. The Colors or something like that, right? So this is the one that's done by PA Works, right? This is original series. And why is there no English title for this? I could have sworn there is one. Um, one second. I'm, I really want to find the English title for this. Because there is one. I know for sure there is one. Let me just see. This. Anyways, um, with this series, the color thing... Um, gosh darn, where... Right here. The World in Colors, or something like that. Irodoku, The World in Colors. Thank you, finally. So anyways, this is an original series by PA Works, and for one, I could just say that the first episode looks pretty brilliant, and the visuals, really colorful and stuff. I'll give it that, because PA Works, whatever. So the story, so this is like a slice of life story involving magic and stuff like that, right? And, um, it's kind of... Well, it's going to be a slice of life, so it's going to be slow, just a bit. Because the first episode, nothing too much big happens, in my opinion. And that's not too much of a spoiler, because you're sort of setting up this main character. So our main character is, um, her name is Hitomi, right? And essentially, well, I can tell you the premise of the anime, I guess. Because this um, girl lives, like, in the future. And essentially, she's, like, I guess colorblind? Or no, she's not co- Well, she doesn't see colors, so I'm assuming that means she's colorblind, right? So essentially... In this world of magic, she's colorblind, and she's sort of, like, not emotionless, but she's kind of, like, what's the word I'm looking for? She's kind of monotone, I guess, if you want to put it that way. And essentially, her grandmother, who's a witch, sends her back in time with time magic to 2018 to sort of experience, I don't know, life. And then in there, she, um, you know, tries to, like, grow as a person, I guess. That's essentially what the premise is, so this whole... Original anime series focuses on this teenager who gets sent back in 2018 to try and grow as a person. And it's total slice of life with magic and whatnot. Some romance, well, it says romance here. It's going for, does it say 12 episodes? No, it doesn't. But yeah, so that's what you sort of expect from original anime, I guess. But I mean, overall, the visuals, it just, it just looks pretty good. And it's really colorful. So it's kind of interesting to see how they put time and effort to making it super colorful because she can't see any of this stuff. All she says is, she, she sees the stuff, but it's not in color. It's just gray and stuff. The story is a bit slow because there's a whole bunch of characters you're going to be introducing in the first two episodes and stuff like that. And you have her going back in time and all that stuff, right? So, overall, I kind of want to go with it. I want to see this some more. I want to see how this turns out because um, something interesting happens in the first episode, which kind of piqued my interest, if you get what I mean, but, um, yeah, it's original anime, so, I need something slice of life in my, in my, in my series, guys, or in my season, so, that's, that's that, uh, really interesting anime, you wanna check it out, well, technically, the bunny girl outfit thing is slice of life, it's not, it doesn't say slice of life, it's supernatural, but anything that's not involving, like, fantasy world or whatever, is kind of not slice of life, index three, yes, oh my goodness, so, um, Personally, I said I was going to go rewatch Index Season 2 because I don't know what the frick happened in the past, like, years that Index Season 3 has not come out. Um, 
episode three just really um, introducing like a whole bunch of the cast from season two and one that I somewhat remember and I somewhat don't. And there's a huge plot point in the third episode, in the first episode of this season, right, with a bunch of things that I sort of vaguely don't remember, which is kind of weird and kind of rough on my part. I don't know. Um, they they might have done like a small recap of like the whole series, I guess. I just kind of forgot in the general sense. Sorry, I'm eating right now. Um, but yeah, um, a lot of stuff happens in this episode, and essentially, how long were they running this for? Twenty six episodes. Okay. This series is going to take a long time, so of course they're going to take their time with the whole world setting and stuff like that. Because it's been so long since I've watched season 2 or remember anything from it. That is a whole plot point going on. And a bunch of people need to get punched or some kind of battle going on. That's all I remember. In all honesty, I forget. I'm sorry. But yeah, that's Index 3. If you liked the second season and you're watching this, this it's probably good. You know, it's Index Season 3. We've been watching, waiting for this for a long time. And um, they also announced Railgun Season 3. I don't think I finished Railgun Season 2 or Railgun... Is there a Season 2? I don't remember. I, 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 I somewhat stopped on Railgun somewhere. I forget. But And then they did a new announcement for an Accelerator series, which is kind of interesting because I haven't seen him in a while. Anyways, next... Kishiku Gakko no Juliet. So, what's the English? Why did you just put the English thing in here? There's something boarding school Juliet or something like that, right? So, this series, interestingly enough, I started reading this series as a manga, right? I found this series as a manga, and I was like, oh, this looks quite interesting because I have like a Romeo and Juliet manga, like way old over there, my collection. And I saw this, and I was like, oh, they're doing another thing, but then it's like in a school setting, ha ha ha, very funny. And it was pretty interesting. I liked it. And then when I heard they announced the anime, I was like, how the frick do I pick up these manga series and start reading them? And then all of a sudden, they're getting an anime in the next season that I'd start reading them. What is that? So anyways, I watched the first episode. And um, it's pretty um, close to the manga, in my opinion. It's just really vividly in color and voice acting. It's pretty similar, in my opinion. Um, 12 episodes. Okay, so standard 12 episodes. Um... Honestly, I kind of didn't get that far in the manga because if I was going to be watching this series, it might just, you know, do the same thing as the manga is. But, I mean, overall, it looks pretty colorful and vivid. And, um, for now, it's kind of like an average Romeo and Juliet story, essentially, because that's what it is. You have Romeo and Juliet, two factions in the school setting, and the romance trying to develop and stuff. That's essentially what it is. So you can watch the first episode and sort of, um... Make your own judgment, but overall, it wasn't that bad. I mean, so far, the first episode, it it leads up... It, it, it ends in a good note. At least, it sets up the tone for the series. I know what happens a little bit after, so I'm kind of not that too keen about it. But, I mean, would I either... Would I either... Would I either read the manga or watch the anime? I'd probably watch the anime, just because they'll have the voice and the color and a little more aesthetic to it. But, yeah, if you read the manga... And you want to watch the anime, then feel free to. That's that's totally fine. Um, Zombie Land Saga. <sighs> Haven't seen this one yet. I'm sorry. Um, Origasuki na no wa imoto dakedo imoto jo. This is too long with title. This is the anime. If I could get an English title, this is the one about the the little sister older brother duo, where one's a light novel author or something like that, right? And then. There's no freaking English title, of course. Um, yeah, essentially, uh, there's this, the the main older brother protagonist guy, right? Is an aspiring light novel author, right? And essentially, he can't really win an award. His writing's not that greatest. And overall, his little sister writes this story about, you know, the little sister loving the older brother cliche, yeah. And then she wins an award. So essentially... The little sister wants to have the brother take the identity of her place and to say that, oh, that's I was the one who wrote that, and you know, yeah, that's that's me on the right on the writer or the author. So 
Little Sister anime. If you really like these Little Sister things, then go ahead. I did not finish Arrow Manga Sensei for, like, the freaking thing of me. I tried to watch through it, and either I think school got busy, or I'm just like, I don't know why I'm watching this right now. Like, why? It's just whatever. Um, but I mean, what's, is this a four? I'm assuming it's four out of five. But I mean, it'll be interesting to see this whole, na- like, dynamic between them acting as each other. Or, like, the brothers all acting as the... The, the little sister who wrote this awesome Onichan sister love manga whatever thing, right? And we'll see how that goes. I mean, so far it's pretty average in my opinion, but if you like these little sister things, then go f- go for it. This is this thing. Um, what else did I see? So, John Arc anime. Didn't see that yet. Another thing that I totally want to watch, but there's so many other things I'm watching. Conception! Yes! I finally get to talk about this, uh, this anime. So, for Conception, for those of you guys who don't know, is based off a game series. And there's two games in the installment right now. Or, I guess, whatever, if they're making more. The original Conception 1, and then Conception 2, Child of the Seven Stars, something like that. I believe the second one's on 3DS and PS Vita. I have those games, so I, that's why I personally came into the series with. And the original one, it's too old, so I probably can't get it somewhere. Unless I look hard enough. So I was kind of excited to see that they animated this first installment of the game because I couldn't play the first game. I played the second one, but they're two different different uh, things, so you can easily watch the other or play the other and then get into the other one. But essentially, Conception is a very um, interesting anime because it sort of it deals with like harem magic and stuff like that, and some kind of like you know mechanic of making children. To fight monsters and stuff like that. It's so, so freaking weird. But I mean, like, it was like the only anime game on the DS. So I'm sorry, but I want to play anime games for a reason. So, yeah. Uh, may- oh, this is actually an isekai anime. I didn't think about it. So essentially, uh, main character and cousin and female cousin get transported into another world where they need their help to fight monsters or restore the world into balance or whatever like that, right? And the only way to do that is to have the main character, the main protagonist dude guy, um, mate with these females that represent the 12 constellations of the stars or something like that. 12 star maidens that are, like, representative of the constellations. Something like that. To make these children to fight the monsters. (laughs) That sounds so weird when I put it that way. But that's the premise! I didn't really spoil too much about the whole, like episode of what happens in there but i mean that's about it so the first episode is honestly pretty slow in my opinion um but i mean as an introductory thing it kind of make fits in this in like how the pace goes with the game because if i were to imagine the second game that i played into anime like okay where would the first episode end and then essentially it ends in like the tutorial phase or like they're going into the tutorial of the game in a way and that's where the episode ends i won't say exactly what the tutorial is because that's all you can, that's what you can say. Um, why is there no radio on this thing? No one watches. No, no one's watching this anime. Is that is that what it is? Is that Crunchyroll? Wow. Okay, so um, it doesn't say if there's going for twelve episodes. But anyways, yeah, that's that's conception right there. If you want to check it out, then feel free to. I mean, I played the game, so I probably just watched this anime because I never played the first game. It's all up to you. But yeah, that's the premise. And here is, debatably... Well, actually, let me think about this. Okay, I'll I'll debatably say my favorite anime, cur- probably my favorite anime this season, Yagate Kimi ni Naru, or in English, Bloom Into You. Why? This is a shoujo eye. I don't know what the difference is between shoujo eye and yuri. They're essentially... I guess it's sort of like the PG-13 way of saying yuri, but it's a shoujo eye anime, school anime, slice of life thing. So... Yeah, that's my favorite series so far in this series, in this season because I don't know, it just sort of it just sort of resonates with me. I don't know why. So essentially the main premise of Bloom Into You or Yagate Kimi ni Naru is about um a regular middle school teen or high school girl who dreams about love, right? She reads about love in shoujo manga and movies and DVDs and books and whatnot, and she's like, I wanna experience love eventually like that, you know, in my lifetime. She's a young girl aspiring for love. And essentially, when someone confesses to her, or her friend, she feels nothing. And she doesn't, she doesn't feel that sort of 
um, feeling that they portray in love in, in manga and whatever, which is kind of weird. But I mean, you know, she has she wants to experience that feeling of love and like you know the heartbeat or like you know just that emotion and stuff like that. But she doesn't feel it when some dude confesses to her, right? And um, essentially throughout high school, she sort of didn't answer him or accept his feelings until he meets this. She meets this new senpai, right, in the student council, and essentially she gives her the advice to turn him down because she's sort of the same as her. Like, she keeps rejecting a bunch of dudes because she doesn't sort of feel love or emotion towards them, and they want to sort of feel that thing towards their partner or whatever, right? They want to experience that. After turning the guy down, the student council girl just straight up confesses her love to her, like, oh, actually, is is that a spoiler? Hold up. No, not actually, not really. Yeah, she confesses to her. That's that's the whole thing right there. So, student council girl uh, confesses to the main character, and then, yeah, that's all I could say for the first episode. Because for one, after watching this first episode, like, I kind of went into the manga and kind of bought all the volumes, or not the volumes, but like all the volumes currently on sale right now. So yeah, I don't know what it is about this anime series, but I guess it's like. The character, I think the main character, so it's interesting that you have, like, well, in typical romance anime, or not, well, I guess, you yeah, have romance anime, it's either, like, someone, like, you know, like, in this chanceful encounter or whatever like that, or it's just kind of, like, how they portray the, the thing. Well, this main, the main protagonist wants to feel this awesome emotion of love that she reads in manga and, and, um, you know, like, um, what do you call it, like... What do you call it when you in like you f- f- media media or whatever, right? I don't know. I just brain fired right now. And then when she gets confessed to, she doesn't feel anything. So she totally doesn't feel like that sort of sense of emotion that she desired for a while for for whenever someone confessed to her, right? And then now all of a sudden, this person who feels the same way as her, like she doesn't want to love anyone or accept their feelings because she doesn't feel anything for them. Confess her love to her. It's just sort of like, oh shit, like, what am I supposed to do? And this person's a girl, and like, you know, it's kind of like, I guess shoujo eyes sort of like, is that like a genre of like people discovering their love for the same gender or something like that? I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, I'm planning to do another podcast on this series later, but then this is like, I don't know why this is, I think, well, for one, my favorite anime genres are like Slice of Life, right? And then this sort of just... Fits the the thing where I think the characters are really interesting, and then how they're gonna explore like their love and feelings for each other. I guess I don't know. It's just it's just really weird. But I'm slowly digging the series, and thankfully it's going for 13 episodes. You can watch it on not on Country Roll, unfortunately, but that's why I think is my favorite. I don't know. I honestly don't know. I totally brain farted just like a few minutes ago, so I don't remember what I'm talking about. But anyways, y'all got the Kimi ni Naru or Bloom into You. On ongoingly, currently, my favorite anime this season. We'll see. We'll see. But that's the one I've been going for so far. Um, Tonari no Kugetsuki san. Never seen that yet. This is the vampire thing. Um, Gridman, that's the trigger anime. I haven't seen that one yet. There's a whole bunch of anime I haven't seen yet. Is that all the anime? I think I've gone through all the anime. That should not be the case because I currently. I swear, I've been watching so much more. Hold up, let me go on my kitsy real quick. I need to verify this. So, Tag and Goblin Slayer. Oh shit, I have gone through all my anime. Okay, I guess I haven't been watching as much as I thought. But anyways, um, that is um, all the anime I've currently seen so far. I could talk about all the anime that I haven't watched yet, but I kind of wanted to watch. So let me flip my thing over. And talk about that. So let's see. Going back to the top. The slime anime. So Transport Another World is a slime. Surrounded by a harem. But the slime is apparently OP. I guess. I don't know. I'll check that out eventually. It's on episode 2 already? What the freak man? The time goes by fast man. Every, like I was, I was giving this a week. Because I wanted to see all the animes. Right? And their episode 1s. And apparently things are going to episode 2 now. So I'm just like. Well shit. I have to watch that too. Fairy tale. You watch Fairy Tale, you'll finish that eventually. Zombie Land Saga. This visual looks so misleading. 
Is it? It's a music supernatural. What the heck? Oh, I thought this was a zombie anime, but it's like zombie idols. What? Well, it's, on, it's two episodes now. I'll probably have to watch this because I don't know. There's a trailer on like YouTube that I watched. And I was like, oh shit, this is a zombie anime. And like the last zombie anime I remember was like Gakko Gurashi or School Live. So I really want to see something like that. Um, let's see, Radiant. Uh, I s- I don't remember talking about Radiant, but I mean, it's a, another fantasy thing. Looks more more like legit fantasy, magic and st- adventure and stuff like that. The John Arc anime. You know, I play Fate, so I kind of know all this history thing about John Arc, whatever. It's another action fantasy thing. Um, the the fa- the vampire thing. It's like a cute girls and cute things, of course. Gridman, that's the trigger anime. Mechas, I probably haven't seen this one yet. I one episode already. Um, sports. I haven't talked about any. Did I talk about sports anime? Did I? Did I? I don't think I did. Okay, anyways. So there's like two sports animes going on right now from my... Or no, three, actually. So one is a sumo anime. I know that for sure. I haven't seen it yet. But I mean, like, this one, Kazuga Siyoku Fuiteru. This one's a running one, right? About how... It's like a running marathon anime, I believe. I haven't seen it yet, but I mean... Is IG the one that does Haikyuu? It looks like they did... This is the one the same did Haikyuu. It looks like it. And then the other one is... Where's the other one? It's like, oh, Kyoto Animation, and it's like archery. It's like free, but then all the males do archery instead of swimming. Essentially, that's how it is, yeah. This, oh, wait. Premiere delayed by a week due to scheduling changes for Typhoon coverage. Oh, shit. So the first episode hasn't aired yet. Interesting enough. Okay, that's why I haven't seen this anime yet or anyone talking about this show yet, because it hasn't aired yet. Interesting enough. Okay, good. That's, well... That explains a lot. Um, let's see here. That's about it. That's like oh okay. There's like a cheerleading anime where this cute girls doing cute things and they're doing cheerleading now. So that's a thing. I haven't seen that one yet. I mean, I could totally probably get into that. We'll see. Um, that's about it from the looks of it. Yeah. So um, a lot of good series going on so far i mean i'm watching probably like a lot of what other people are watching like everyone's okay let's put this the mainstream or like most talked about anime so far sword online goblin slayer maybe tokyo gruel maybe fairy tale index you know you have all these sequel anime sort of thing they're not like sequels well index and tokyo ghoul are sequels fairy tales are sequels too but then you have like all these like well-known it's weird, it's a fantasy, it's actually a lot of fantasy, now that I think about it, freaking SAO and Goblin Slayer are fantasies, this whole isekai is a slime thing, fantasy, is there any other fantasies that I'm missing it? Well, the top two are fantasies, and then you have leftovers like, um, Attack on Titan still going on, so that's still a thing, but yeah, I mean, like, so far, there's a lot of variety in the season, which I'll give it that, I always like variety, my thing, I don't want to watch like, one single genre all the time. I always like having to have that one anime where it's the cute girls doing cute things so I can just sit back and turn my brain off and watch this shit. I want some good romance to watch, even if it's, like, a shoujo eye or yuri. And then you have your mystery supernatural things like the bunny girl, and then sequels like uh, Index, and then dark shit like Goblin Slayer. You know, I like my variety. And I'm getting that this season. And there's still... A bunch of stuff I haven't watched. So let me see. Let me see which series I've watched so far. I think I why I think that I watched a bunch of series this season is because Sora Online was actually an hour, so I mistook that for like three or two episodes of series or whatever. So let's see. SAO, Goblin Slayer, uh, Rascal Bunny Girl, um, World of Colors by PA Works, Index, uh, Juliet, uh, Emoto Anime. Conception, uh, Bloom Into You, Shoujo Eye, that's like nine, I think I'm on nine, hold up, that's about it, wait, are you saying I've only seen nine things? Okay, well apparently I'm watching nine different anime, is that, is that, hold up, um, where's my thing, I don't have my list, cause all my list is on my phone to be honest. 
Uh, yeah, that's it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I didn't put conception. So it is nine. Okay, so I'm watching nine different anime right now, currently. And nine's a lot, to be honest. I I forget exactly how much I watched last season. But, like, there's still a bunch. Like, if I decide to watch the slime thing, then that's, like, ten. And then there's still the Zombieland Saga. And then there's still, like... The John the Ark anime and the vampire, uh, cute girls doing cute things. There's the Gridman trigger anime. I didn't even talk about this other one. It's Release the Spice or something like that, which is like some kind of like I don't know ninja thing or whatever. Then there's all the sports anime that I haven't seen yet, and then there's all these other animes like I don't know what rewrite is or what ingress the animation is or. Other stuff. There's a lot of anime going on, guys. But I can totally guarantee that all the top ones I listed are not the top ones. And they're not the top. The ones I've listed so far are the ones that really intrigue me right now. And they're like, I want to watch these things right now. Which is Bloom Into You, number one. Probably. Uh, Conceptions up there. I'm not saying it's number two, but like uh, the Emoto anime is kind of iffy. We'll see how the the next few episodes come, gonna go. Uh, the Juliet anime, uh, Index Three color anime, Bunny Girl, Goblin Slayer, and Sao. Maybe the slime anime. Who knows? But anyways, whew, I'm so tired from talking a lot. But anyways, this anime season is looking pretty good in my opinion. I'm really liking it. Everyone's got something to watch, even your sequelitis, Sao, and uh, Fairy Tale and Index. So anyways, yeah, that's all the anime I've been watching so far and why I think about this whole first week. Uh, we'll see how it is in the second week if I do make a podcast like this, but who knows. I might talk about all the episode 2 stuff. We'll see. And maybe if Goblin Slayer does something dark again, but anyways. So yeah, that's it for this podcast or this discussion. So what did you guys think about uh, all these anime series? I know if you're watching the same thing I am, well, probably not every exact same thing. I'm watching nine different a- animes. But whatever you guys are watching, let me know what you guys think about, like, what you're watching and um, what do you guys feel about the episode so far because it's interesting to know because everyone probably has the same reaction to the Goblin Slayer as I have because I'm just like, what the fuck did I watch? And all that dark shit. And the SEO, it's kind of mixed. Who knows? Everyone likes that SEO. Everyone hates it. I think everyone likes the Bunny Girl thing. It's pretty up here. Index Season 3. Oh, yeah, it's pretty... You know, sequel like this. Yeah, I want to hear what you guys think about the anime you're watching this season. See and just compare and discuss. So yeah, until next time, see you later. Take care, guys. And hope you enjoy this anime season and all the cool series that we get to watch. Take care and bye.